Originally scheduled as a rest or spare day, the organisers, the race committee, have had to use this spare day because of the postponement of the speed part of the super combined. So the women's slalom that was due for day seven of competition has now been moved to day five. And as you can see, it is still snowing. The course though has been worked hard and the three categories are about to get underway with the visually impaired first run. Three categories as always, visually impaired, standing and sitting. With the categories based on the athlete's functional ability. And we'll see athletes with, with different impairments competing against favorite? each other in the same class. Uh, and this is made possible by a results calculation system based on a mathematical formula, which was instigated by the athletes many years ago. Now it gives each class within a category a factor which is applied to the individual's real time and it gives a level playing field. It's important to point out that the times that you will see on your screens throughout the races will be the factored or calculated times. Now here is the start list for the first run of the visually impaired women's slalom and the skier to watch out for here. Well, Vokasova number three and also number nine Frank Saver of Russia. But Great Britain also having a good Winter Paralympics here. They picked up their first ever gold in the Super G, courtesy of uh, Kelly Gallagher. The question is, can they add to that title? Can Kersova make up for the mistakes she made in the Super Combined Slalom and the Super G? Can Franceva repeat the performance? from the slalom run of the super combined the super combined inverted usually it's speed first slalom second but because of the weather the technical slalom run was run first with the speed run coming on day seven of competition so split over a couple of days Be interesting to see how that pans out but here the first of two runs is hopefully just about to get underway and the first gear we're hoping to see is Jade Etherington of Great Britain. She's competing in her first Winter Paralympic Games. Course profile, well, it's slightly shorter than the slalom track for the Super Combined. 54 gates set by Michael Charrier of France with a vertical drop of 180 metres. The women's slalom is just about to get underway with the visually impaired category going first. The weather conditions here at Rosa Kuta improved slightly from the pouring rain that we have had. But Jade Edrington of Great Britain and Caroline Powell will get us underway. A medalist in her first two events, a silver followed by a bronze in the downhill and super G. And Edrington add to that tally. It's her first Paralympic Winter Games. And they're off and skiing. Alternate red and blue gates. Three classes in this visually impaired category. B1, B2 and B3. No B1s in the women's. So just B2 and B3 in this class profile. Includes athletes that are unable to recognise a capital E that is 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres from a distance of four metres. And also from a visual field less than 10 degrees diameter. Now, the best of the conditions for Edrington because uh, it is as smooth a piece as any of the athletes will get. And uh, the guy doing a good job talking to her guy through uh, Bluetooth radio. And Edrington staying nice and high in the line, trying to keep as much speed between the gates into the final pitch. A couple of gates from home. Edrington looking to set a competitive time. She's down in a minute at point seven one. Edrington 
Sets the first time of the day as the snow continues to fall. So she'll be back for the second run. Now, Stacey Manella, the United States, the first time Ready? that we have seen this 17-year-old at these Winter Paralympics Games, being in the B3 class, which describes the least severe visual impairment eligible for alpine skiing. Oh no, now, has she straddled? Just getting perhaps a little bit too close to the guide, so continuing on her way. The guide can be up to two gates in front of their athletes in uh, the technical disciplines, just the one gate in the speed. And by a straddle, I mean one of the two skis going the wrong side of the uh, slalom pole. For example, here the left ski would go to the left of the pole rather than the right. Now, the flattest section of the track before we go over this terrain change on this red gate here into the finishing pitch. And Manella, almost six seconds off the pace of Edrington at the first time check. Remember, two runs beside the slalom medals. And obviously, you have to finish the first to take part in the second. And uh, the fastest skiers go in reverse order in the second run. It could be skied over a different pattern of gates, but Manella stops the clock 11.39 off the pace of Etherington. I hear Kirk. Now, Henrietta Vakasova of Slovakia. One gold in the downhills, disqualified in the super combined, and was disqualified from disqualified from the super g and disqualified from the super combined on day three she skied actually the whole course brilliantly but just missed the final gate didn't keep her guide in front of her and as a result totally missed the final gate a very good slalom skier she is gonna really pressurize Eddington's time the cars are also skiing in the b3 class least of it for the visual impairment Eligible for Alpine skiing now, Eddington, 35.26. Is this time inside? Ooh, no, it's outside by 0.79. Eddington did ski, or it looked like she skied a very good opening run. And it looks like it could be the case for Karsova, who is third in the World Cup slalom standings. Eddington, it's worth pointing out, is second. She hasn't won a run, but she's been second on three occasions the cast of that who's won two including the last slalom before coming here is 1.33 off the pace the cast of that his guide was very vocal on day four about the conditions now the korean athlete yang ye rim and lee yi yul her guide first time We've seen her at these Paralympic Winter Games. She's racing the technical disciplines of slalom and giant slalom. And here we go. Yang, ninth in the World Cup slalom stand. She's only skied two races, but was third in both of them. And, uh, her guide, Lee Ru, has gone off at a good pace, and Yang is keeping up. And trying to stay high in the line. Oh, no, there's a big error. Skidded the turn rather than carved it, and had to uh, come across the piece rather than across and down the piece to make the next gate. Now, that uh, will probably harm her time at the next split, which is 35.26, and Yang... Well, 0.87 off the pace. That mistake is really costly, but it came on the steep section, which isn't as bad as having a mistake on the flats. For obvious reasons, you can continue to keep your momentum going. And she's got it back now. She's skiing beautifully here. Yang really skiing well on these uh, closing turns. How will she fail, though? Just gets it wrong. Let's hope she's okay. 
A disappointment for the Korean supporters. Yang is out of the slalom. She won't be back for the second run. And it came at a time when she was skiing ever so well. Let's have another look. Yeah, just gets pushed low in the line and gets done by one of the ruts. Possibly just bringing a bit too much speed into that final pitch. But sadly for Yang, she doesn't finish with a time that allows her to compete in the second run. Danelle Umstead in the United States, next out of the start half, the World Cup leader in the slalom discipline. Can she convert that World Cup form to the Paralympics, being in the B2 class, the same class as Edrington, our current leader. Which, uh, Includes athletes that cannot recognise a capital E, 15 by 15 centimetres in size from a distance of 4 metres. Or athletes with a visual field of less than 10 degrees diameter are eligible for this sport class. And Unsaid going steadily down here to the third in the super combined slalom leg. But she's uh, five seconds off the pace here. Which, uh, the putter in third position, her teammate Tracy Manella currently in third but 11 seconds off the pace of our leader Edrington. And Umstead gets a decent rhythm down this final pitch. One minute, 0.87 Edrington's time, it's come and gone and Umstead's still a couple of gates from home. And there's a bit of a rut forming on that red gate. But Umstead is down, she goes third ahead of Manella, her teammate. 7.87 off the pace. Husband and wife share a hug in the finish area. Now, Kelly Gallagher of Great Britain with Charlotte Evans. This pair created history for Great Britain on day two of these games by picking up their country's first ever gold medal at a Winter Paralympics. Sixth in the downhill. Skied out of the slalom leg in the super combined. Having skied by her own admission, that she thought was a very good run until her error. But how will she fare here? Skiing in the B3 class. And Charlotte Evans, the guy, setting a good pace. And Gallagher, oh, late in the line. Now, can she bring it back under control can she put it behind her well she's 0.36 ahead of her compatriot Edrington good skiing here from Kelly Gallagher of Great Britain to be confused with Jessica Gallagher of Australia who's next out of the start hut Gallagher's down again she's lost the ski frustration for Kelly Gallagher and disappointment for her family and friends and supporters. She was going ever so well. She was the right side of the clock. Now, what happened here? Did she straddle? No. Well, there was a ski release. The rut forming after only five skiers or six skiers severe enough to uh, dislodge the left ski of Kelly Gallagher. And, uh, well, that will be a disappointment. Also a concern for the British coaches. They'll be on the radio back up the hill. Just to warn of that big rut. We don't have any more. Well, they have one more skier coming in this uh, category. Millie Knight, who is going 10th of the 10 skiers. But uh, we just saw Jessica Gallagher pull back from the start. That is Melissa Perrin. But here is Jessica Gallagher and Christian Geiger of Australia in the B3 class. Three, two, one, the first we see of Jessica Gallagher. It, it is her birthday in two days' time. And she get an early birthday present. Third in Vancouver in the slalom. She also competed at the London 
2012 Paralympics in javelin and long jump. The first Australian athlete to compete at the Summer and Winter Paralympics. Now she's faring on these opening turns of this women's slalom for the visually impaired category. 35.26 is the time of Evington, our leading Gallagher over a second off the pace, 1.1 off the pace of Jade Everington. Now, this final pitch, very, very difficult. And so far, Jessica Gallagher doing very well. Getting the poles out in front of her. The snow getting thicker and thicker. It's really jumping down now. And all the while, the track will be getting slower. 3.22 the time, she's in third place for the time being, with uh, three to come. In touching distance. Now, Alexandra Fantova of Russia with Pavel Zabotin, her guide in the B2 class, same class as Eddington, our leader. And Fantova had a superb slalom run in the super combined on day four of these games. Can she repeat that on day five? And she will, she'll be taking home another medal. Bronze in the downhill, silver in the super G. Can she make it the full house of Winter Paralympic medals at her home game? Zavatin, the guy looking Every second turn over his right shoulder and Fransova over a second faster than Eddington. Beautiful ski for the Russian here. The crowd in the finish area will respond to her. Now, can she keep it together down this final pitch? We've seen a couple of skiers come to grief down here. The big ruts that are forming, but Fransova is skiing as well. Tricky couple of gates in that combination, but Franceva is down, but she's lost nearly one and a half seconds between the in time interval and the bottom, but she is in second place. 0.55 off the pace. Melissa Perrin and Andrew Bohr. The next skiers out of the start up. In the B2 class, Perrin. Oh no! Losing the ski right out of the gate. And shows you how steep this opening pitch is. Now the ski has just disappeared down and come to a stop on some snow. Now, what's happened here? Well, just like Kelly Gallagher, who lost her left ski. Perrin loses her right because of the ruts forming in the snow. It's a real disappointment for her. She was disqualified after finishing the slalom run of the Super Combined. And sadly for her, she gets only two gates into her challenge in the slalom. That's it. Just uh, de-rigging at the bottom of the piece. The athletes go through their warm-up routine. We have one skier remaining in the visually impaired category. That is Millie Knight, who is the youngest of all the athletes competing in the alpine skiing here at the Sochi Winter Paralympics. Let's have another look. Watch this. It just bounces her right foot out of the binding. It actually opens up. The heel binding opens up. And there's just no way back for the Australian from there. Andrew Bohr, a guy, has absolutely no idea what's happened. And poor Melissa Perrin. There's another miserable day on the slopes. So Millie Knights of Great Britain. Yep. Three, two, one, go. The youngest ever athlete. Well, the youngest ever athlete to compete for Great Britain at a Winter Paralympics. She was the flag there at the opening ceremony. And you can see there a massive run on that red gate, which she 
just about survives. Her guide, Rachel Ferrier. And Knight, well, there's six finishes at the moment out of ten. Gets the bottom, she's going to give herself a shout of a medal in that second run. Anything can happen. She is going the reverse order. She, uh, finishing in the first run. So the slowest will be first and the fastest last. And Knight 4.75 off the pace. That will put her in fifth position if she can keep that sort of time difference at the bottom. Good job being done by Ferrier. Now, a 15 year old. Getting quite close to her guide. Perry probably just needs to open up maybe a little bit. She does just get a bit more space between her and Knight. And there's another big rut that uh, Knight does well to negotiate. It's a matter of survival. She will go near the top. She finishes in sixth position just in front of Stacey Manella. And the 15-year-old will ski in the second run. She'll be second out of the gate. That will help her because the piece will be flatter. But a good run for Millie Knight and Rachel Ferrier. Her first run of the Paralympics, and she's finished. So here are the results after the first run of the women's slalom in the visually impaired category. Jade Etherington of Great Britain leads the way from Alexandra Franceva of Russia by just over half a second. Henrietta. Makasova of Slovakia is in third. Jessica Gallica of Australia is in fourth. The non-finishers, Yang Ye Rim.